Oh, it's not a thrift store. Delilah and I find rare and unusual items and sell them to people who appreciate our reasonable prices. It's a very unique business. Oh, please, it's a yard sale with a roof. <laughs> well, come look around, Bree. And you let me know if you see anything you and Jesse need, okay? Well, I should probably wait till Jesse and I have a place of our own before I buy anything. Well, aren't you two moving out of Mother Buchanan's next week? Well, we were supposed to get this great deal on an apartment, but it fell through. And until we have enough money to live somewhere else, Mother Buchanan insists that we stay with her. I bet Mother Buchanan loves still having Jesse around the house. She does. But for me, it's been a nightmare. She's always saying the meanest things, but in a way that almost makes them sound nice. Bree, we understand. We have been dealing with that ever since we married her boys. Being passive-aggressive is Mother Buchanan's specialty. At Roy's and my 19th anniversary last year, she made a toast to my son Roy and his lovely wife, whose name escapes me at the moment. I can talk that. For Charles and my fifth anniversary, she threw us a huge party at the Indianapolis Hilton. What's so bad about that? She told me it was at the Sheraton. I haven't even mentioned the worst part. Ever since we moved in with Mother Buchanan, Jesse hasn't been able to, you know. Bree, I think I speak for all of us when I say, I don't know. Jesse hasn't been able to make love. There's something about being in the same house with his mother that makes him unable to perform. Well, sweetie, we've all been there. This hasn't happened to any of us. Well, what am I supposed to say? Sorry, you're married to a freak? Uh, this must be very difficult for you, Bree. It is. Up until my wedding night, I was a virgin, and I always wondered what all the fuss was about. But now that I've had sex, I like it. I like it a lot. That's because you're a newlywed. Once you've been married a few years, sex will seem less like a tantalizing pleasure and much more like a chore. A chore you're forced to perform on birthdays, holidays, and Super Bowl Sunday. Don't ask. Uh, Brie, how long will it be before you and Jesse can afford a place of your own? At least four or five months. Oh, my Lord. Five months living with Mother Buchanan. That's like, what, 20 years in a Turkish prison? <laughs> Bree, why don't you and Jesse come stay with Roy and me? Chris just started school at Northwestern. You can have his room. Well, shouldn't you ask your husband first? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> you can move in Saturday. Oh, Alex. Oh, you don't know what this means. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. I'm going to run over to the car lot right now and tell Jesse. <sighs> Alex, do you realize what you've done? Jesse's going to move out of his mother's house because of you. Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea how incredibly upset Mother Buchanan's going to be when she finds out? Yes. <laughs> I'm running a little late. I just made breakfast for Jesse and Bree. Come on in and sit down. Oh, that's right. They're here. How's that going? It's been amazing. Oh? I can't believe I'm going to tell you this. Oh, I just love sentences that start that way. <laughs> Delilah, I had forgotten what newlyweds are like. They have...